All right, welcome to our lesson today. Today we are going to talk about the front crawl. Um, that's kind of what October is focusing on. I promised that last month in September. So um, learning the front crawl, working on the front crawl, or freestyle, the stroke that goes like this, side breathing, what people typically think of for lap swimming. All swimming, as I've talked to you before, uh, is about three areas. It's about your buoyancy, your air, and movement underlined with the presence of mind, with having presence of mind. Without having that underlining foundation, you cannot access those physical skills. Buoyancy, air, and movement are the physical skills. But to be able to access them, to understand them, to really transform yourself, you have to have the presence of mind. Now today, I am gonna talk more about physical skills, but uh, so I'm not going to go into too much more about the presence of mind, except that I just really need you to know without that piece, it's like just smearing stuff on top of the old you. <laughs> and you just smear skills on top of the old you. There is no transforming. And that's what people really want and really desire. I want to feel like a swimmer. I want to be transformed in this from this person who says she's not a swimmer to a person that says she's a swimmer, right? You're looking for transformation. I'm a person who can't do the front crawl. I'm a person who can do the front crawl. I have confidence and ease and I know how to figure things out, right? That all comes with that foundation, right? That having that presence of mind. So I won't say more about that right now, but, uh, just know, you know, that's what our, the whole program teaches you. That's what the whole online course teaches you is all those components too. That's the 80% of the learning that has to come first. Today, I want to bring you a little bit into, because I know people are so curious <laughs> about the skills and curious about front crawl and curious about how it works. So let's talk a little bit about, um, so our three things, right? Buoyancy, air, and movement. So in um, foundational swimming, when you're learning to swim, we're teaching people how their buoyancy works. And some people are buoyant, some people are not buoyant. Some parts of your body are buoyant, some parts of your body are not buoyant. This is all normal, right? We have to figure out what it is for you. And so in beginning swimming, this is what you learn. And we tend to learn that we look something like this, that most people, if I draw my water line like that, I'll even give myself, we'll put ourselves in a pool, <laughs> my great art, our pool. Most people are, I think I'll draw it and then I'll show you, something kind of like this. So this little circle is your head. This little line is your nose, just to show you guys that this person is face down. This is the body, legs droop down, arms droop down. Now there's different variations of this. You know, some people are a little more um, horizontal, arms still droop down, feet still droop down. Some people, um, oh, that head's a little bit too low, are really, horizontal. Let me get this person at the surface of the water. They're kind of like that. There, some people are really horizontal. Totally normal. And yes, there are some people who don't float. Normal too. <laughs> All range of normalcies. Our Olympic swimmers, remember I've told you this before, Olympic swimmers are down here. They don't float. Um, so in basic swimming and learning how to swim, you've got to know where yours is. This is to give you that clean slate in which to start with. Now, as we go into developing and learning the front crawl, we also revisit this. There's a slightly different reason. So one, we need to know what our bodies are like when we do nothing. And then we also need to know how to line this head up with neutral, being neutral. If you might see, this is kind of the same for all these bodies, no matter how 
the angle of these bodies is floating in the water, that the head is in the same neutral place. This is because we have a neck. <laughs> And we want to take the work out of holding our head up with our necks, but letting it drop to find neutral. And having this neutral space is going to start to say, how am I going to line my body up behind this? Let me uh, get rid of some of my people. Too many people in here. Too many people in the pool. All right. Give myself a new pool here, a little bit of water on the top. <clears throat> so we're going to say our person, I'm going to get, this is kind of a typical average person. You know, it's like that, that kind of a position in the water. So from here, from knowing where, okay, this is where my neutral head is. When we start to add movement, right? The M of movement, like we start to learn to kick our feet. When we kick our feet, this is going to start to plane us off. This is what's going to bring the lower half of the body up. Or as we know from our beginning swimming, when we pull through the water, the way the aerodynamics of the water works is you get lift in your lower half of your body. This is where we start to get into things like streamline being in one long shape in the water. <clears throat> so we want to start out neutral head because the other piece of this, so our air, right? So we have buoyancy, air, and movement. If I have this much of my head, this happens to be the back of my head, out of the water, if I flipped this person over, they would have approximately the same amount of their head out of the water, but on their back. So learning about the air is about understanding where this neutral place of the head is, and we can transfer which part of the head is out of the water. The back of the head, to the side of the head, to the face, which of course face goes out of the water. Now we have access to the air. So we're learning in the front crawl about rotating on that axis, rotating around this neutral point. The biggest thing that I hear people say when they are learning front crawl is how do I lift my head to breathe? Using that word right there, lift my head to breathe, is going to take the head out of this neutral alignment and put it at an angle. You're thinking about lifting out of the water. Then you're going to have your circle looking more like this. This is my nose right here. And my mouth is under the water. <laughs> so if you've ever found side breathing doesn't work for you because you're lifting your head out of the water, this is why. We have to maintain this neutral head place. And we have to learn, OK, this is buoyancy. This is neutral for my head. How do I rotate and know, using my presence of mind, which section of my face is out of the water? And I can use my presence to feel, oh, this is the place where my mouth and nose is out of the water. I can have air now. This is a good time to breathe. Sometimes it's not a good time to breathe at the beginning where you're just discovering this. But this is what we're going into in our front crawl. So it's never about lifting the head out of the water. So we're going to find that neutral place for that head. We use some momentum to help plane us off. And then we're rotating in the plane to find the air. So breaking these first beginning steps down very, very slowly into their smallest parts so that you're not getting overwhelmed with those old thoughts that say, I'm supposed to be lifting out of the water to get air. We lift, it kind of gets us to here, and that vital mouth is still under the water. No lifting involved. It's all about neutral, finding neutral buoyancy, taking that work out of the neck, using a little momentum to plane ourselves out, and to find where that rotation is in the neutral. 
a lot more pieces to it, but I just wanted to give you that new vision because that air piece is so tricky for, for people of thinking that I'm lifting out of the water. And it's really discovering how the buoyancy, how the rotation works so I can feel when my face comes out of the water. I notice when the time is right instead of anticipating and being ahead and rushing it, right? And having some momentum. We started with momentum like this. In the front crawl, we use momentum of our kick and we use fins. I'll tell you more about fins later in the month, but uh, to help give us momentum so we can discover this rolling process, this neutral process, this letting go, letting the water do the work for you. All right, have fun with it. If you want to see more, if you want to be a part of all of these things, I keep adding this information into the online course, which we have the front crawl course is part of the online package. And of course, the foundations of change, which has the 80% mental part that's in there as well. And last week, re we released that free class on the website that is about feeling good now. In swimming or anything else, we are about bringing transformation. <laughs> There's been so much change and so much going on in 2020. We just had to give you a course right now that helps you to feel better, to really understand this thought process of how this works. So grab one of those things, jump into the free class on the website, or join us in the membership and get all the classes. All right.